Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome to the morning show. Today is Monday, May 8th, 2023, and a sea day. Good morning, I'm Jack. Good morning, I'm Laura. Good morning, I'm Brayden. Listen up. There are four spots left before the trip is closed for Germany and Switzerland. If you are a sophomore or juniors interested in signing up and are interested in science, tech, math, or business, this is the trip for you. Don't miss out on a fantastic trip to Switzerland and Germany for 10 amazing days. See Mr. DeWitt in room N100 or email at peter underscore DeWitt at websercsd.org with any questions. Scan the QR code for more information and learn how to enroll today. Community Service Club is having their first trip to Habitat for Humanity on Saturday, May 13th. It is open to the first 15 club members to sign up in classroom by today. Please see the classroom for more information. This is a great opportunity for giving back to your community and making new friends. Do you want to try the world's best cheeseburger? Do you want to have fun with friends? Come support Unified Basketball at Bill Grace tonight anytime between 4.30 and 8.30. Bring a flyer found in Mrs. Bailey's room, E228, Mrs. Burgess' room, W7, or Mr. Fedor's room, W216, to ensure that your money goes to our cause. Hope to see you there. That's it for me, and now over to Maura. Thanks, Jack. Congratulations to the Schrader Speech and Debate Team, ranked speakers. They went up against the big schools in New York City and Long Island, and they did us proud. Sophomore Matthew G. is a quarter finalist this year in Declamation, interpreting and delivering a speech by Jim Carrey. And junior Noah J. is semi-finalist in Varsity Expelanius Speaking. Pick a current events topic, research it, compose it, practice it, and deliver it 30 minutes later. Noah and Matthew, your coaches and teams, applaud your accomplishment. We are thankful for Webster's strong support that we have enjoyed every year since our first state competition in 1985. Today is the second annual Cruiser Night to honor Mr. Cruz, who does so much to help our schools and athletic teams. Mr. Cruz will be throwing out the first pitch at the softball game at 7 p.m. We will be collecting donations at the flag football and softball games for the Wilmot Cancer Center in Mrs. Mr. Cruz's name. Please come out and support Cruiser at, and the athletes. The Schrader softball team improved to 10 and three with wins over Penfield and Rush Henrietta. Schrader beat Rush five to, six to five in nine innings. Liana D threw a three hitter with 21 strikeouts. Busy B had a sacrifice fly in the bottom of the ninth to score Ava W who led off the inning with a single. Then Liana D singled and Kinsley K singled to load the bases. Biz had a deep fly ball to center field to score Ava W. Liana was three for four with an RBI. Sam S was two for four with an RBI. Ava W was two for three for, with two RBIs and the winning run. Schrader beat Penfield 15 to three. Liana D and Sam S combined for the win with 13 strikeouts. Liana was three for four with two RBIs, three runs scored. Sam was two for three and three RBIs. Michaela B was three for four with three runs scored. Kinsley K, Busy B, and Carly C were all two for four with RBIs. Maddie K had an RBI double, and Ava W and Sarah F each hit had a hit. That's it for me, and now over to Brayden. Thank you, Maura. Attention all Dungeons & Dragons club members. The movie theater has changed the date for our field trip to next Wednesday, May 17th. We will have a regular club meeting this week. Please return your permission slip to Mr. Peck in room W8 as soon as possible. The Schrader Theater Company would like to thank all students and staff who grabbed their passports and traveled with us this weekend during the performances of Around the World in 80 Days. Your encouragement, support, laughter, and love did not go unnoticed. We will see you next spring. Now over to a video explaining the impact of zero in your gradebook, and then we're going to head back to the studio for a special announcement from Mrs. Tasber. I want to talk to you about the impact of zero. You know, that ugly goose egg that ends up in your teacher's grade book when you don't complete your work or don't turn it in. Have you ever thought about the true impact of that zero? Probably not. 
but today we're going to take a closer look at it. To examine the impact of a zero on our grades, I created two fictitious students, Joe Average and Alex Allstar. First, let's establish a couple of assumptions. To keep this example easy, let's just assume that there's 10 assignments in this particular card marking that each assignment is worth 10 points. First, you can see Joe Average gets, you know, anywhere from 7 to 10 points out of 10 on his assignments, and Alex Allstar does a little better, mostly 9s and 10s. Let's take a look at what a zero is going to do to these students' grades. So we'll give Joe two zeros. That's going to drop his 81% average down to a 64%, which takes him from a B- minus down to a D. What's going to happen to Alex? Well, we'll give him a couple zeros here. That's going to drop his 95% average down to a 76%. So his A dropped down to a C. Just because in both cases here, they missed two assignments, just didn't turn them in or didn't complete them or whatever. Well, we need to talk about some. Good morning, Warriors. Thanks for taking the time to watch that video this morning. Hopefully it gave you a better understanding of the mathematical impact of getting a zero on an assignment in your gradebook. Did you know that when an assignment is flagged as missing in Infinite Campus, it is calculated as a zero? This has a huge negative impact on your grades. This is the time of year when we need to kick into gear to finish strong, so your teachers will be taking some time in class this week to review their policies on missing assignments and late work, talk about the resources available for extra help when you need it, and have you check the portal to see if you have any missing assignments and make a plan to get caught up. First period teachers, please hand out the zero zeros worksheets to your class. Students, bring these with you to your classes this week so that you can fill them out together. Extra copies are available in the main office, alpha office, and in your class Google Classroom. Let's finish strong these last five weeks.